we have discussed various aspects of the fuzzy systems, the rules, the representation, membership function and so forth. FIS or fuzzy inference system as we sometimes call it is the process of formulating the mapping from a given input from a given input to an output using fuzzy logic okay so what does it, what i'm saying is it provides a, a mapping then this mapping provides a basis from which decisions can be made or patterns discerned in the fuzzy logic system so if i were to you know take that as a black box the input to a fuzzy inference system fis is a crisp input okay that goes through various steps i'm going to talk about the five steps and then produces another crisp output right so a crisp input going through five steps of fuzzy inference process and ultimately come up with a fuzzy fuzzy output right so both ends are crisp input and output in between is the fuzziness and the inference process so what are the five steps you start with the crisp input and you fuzzify that fuzzify that okay we'll see what it is and then we apply fuzzy operator on the premise or on the antecedent or the left hand side of the rule okay fuzzify apply the fuzzy operator okay then implication implication is effectively the application of the rule okay so apply so from the antecedents to the consequent then aggregation of consequences across the rule if you have multiple ones and then of course defuzzify so you come up with a crisp output okay so five steps uh, we are we are going to discuss subsequently a case study for uh, a dinner dinner for two people okay that's a small case study will uh, help you do that Okay, so what what exactly are we trying to do? We are saying, all right, the two two people who want to go to a restaurant, and then depending upon what kind of food they get and what kind of service they get, okay, this fuzzy system will help them decide how much tip to give. Okay, how do how do you tip off? Tip the 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 the, the waiter. Okay, the very standard thing, and it can be a percentage of the total bill. Say between five to twenty-five percent of the total bill. Uh, the system is based on three fuzzy rules. Okay, uh, we will discuss each one of them: rule one, rule two, and rule three. And then we will apply this the, these uh, these three rules, and using the inference process. So, what is the first step? First step is the fuzzification. So, you take the crisp inputs and determine the degree to which they belong. To each of the appropriate fuzzy sets via membership function. So in this case, the numerical value of the crisp value, it can range between zero and ten. Okay, the service quality. You can say poor mean mean zero, and ten could be excellent. And the output, the fuzzy degree of membership using the linguistic set of variable will be in the range of zero and one. So fuzzification of the input is either through a lookup table or a fuzzification function. I, I mentioned. Previously, of course, built uh, using three rules, and uh, so you fuzzify the inputs. Once you are fuzzified, your next step is how to actually apply those rules, the implication. So left hand side of the rule, which ones, and then the implication of each rule. So, for instance, what is the extent to which the food is delicious? And the figure will demonstrate how well the food of our hypothetical restaurant qualifies on a scale of. One to ten, zero to ten. Okay, and the linguistic variable here is the word delicious, the food quality. So the diners have rated the food as as an eight. Well, and given the graphical definition of the delicious, that corresponds to value of zero point seven of the delicious membership function. Now we apply the fuzzy operator. Once the inputs have been fuzzified. We know the degree to which each part of the left hand side or the antecedent has been satisfied for each rule. We apply the fuzzy operator. Now, once the fuzzy operator is applied, we then actually 
aggregate them. Okay, so each rule is applied if there are more than one left inside. Remember, and or or kind of thing. So and would take the minimum, and the or would take the maximum if there are more than one. So fuzzification followed by the implication. So fuzzy sets, and then rules applied, and then they aggregate it. So once again, what are those five steps that we carry out? Remember, at the input we have a crisp input, and we want to cre create a crisp output. Okay. So fuzzification of input, application of the fuzzy operator, in case there are more than one, and implication. The third, third step. Implication is the right hand side. Okay. What happens if this is the antecedent, left hand side? Then this is the consequence of that. That's what we call as implication, or implies. If then, remember the if then rule. So this is same as that. Then the aggregation of consequences, if there are multiple rules. If there's only one rule, you go ahead. If you have multiple rules that can be applied, you aggregate them, put them together. Okay. And then once you've got a crisp value out of this, a fuzzy value out of this, you defuzzify the output. Okay. So once you have a defuzzified output, that's what you're looking for. So in our case, that we'll discuss, we'll start with the quality of food and the service, two inputs. Rules will be applied, the three of them. So there will be there will be application of that, of each and or whatever. Implication, the effect of each rule, and the aggregation of the consequences across the rules. And finally, diversification. So these five steps, I hope they're clear. We will use them in subsequent videos to actually demonstrate the case study that I've mentioned, which is, you know, you go to a restaurant and decide how much tip you want to give, right? I hope this was interesting. Uh, keep focused. We'll come back again. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.